Guillermo Montoya of Sierra Vista moving up eight spots that second half of the race. In fifth, Lorenzo Benham of Esperia. In sixth, Alex Figueroa of El Rancho. In seventh, Mateo Saldana of Citrus Valley. In eighth, Christopher Ontiveros Jr. of Citrus Valley. In ninth, Cole Frosto of Eduanda. And in tenth, Michael Dunn of Norco. Esos son sus primeros diez individuales de la carrera del de los muchachos varsity de la Universidad de las Escuelas Grandes. Su campeón individual, Joshua Morales de la Escuela Warren, con un tiempo de 15 minutos. que están de espectadores, por favor no interrumpan la, la carrera, si está marcado que no deben entrar, por favor no entren and once again these are some of the best runners and best programs in the state and she is just running away we'll have to see who that is when she crosses the halfway mark
minutes away from the Boys Sundown Showdown to start. Boys Varsity Sundown Showdown, 10 minutes. Here comes our champion, crossing in a time of 16.30 flat. Riley Blade, Santiago of Corona, pretty much going wire to wire, just completely pulling away from the field right bef before the halfway mark. All right, finishing in second place, Summer Wilson, J. Sarah Catholic with the time of 17.24. Hi, my name is Riley Blade and I'm a junior and I go to Santiago Corona. It went good. I just tried to get out fast and then kind of settle into my race pace, which I ended up executing, so I'm pretty happy with it overall. Um, and then throughout the race, I kind of just tried to maintain and try and just push myself and kind of use the energy off of everyone else uh, from the sides. First mile felt pretty good. Um, it was definitely about where I wanted to be. I wanted to be in about that range. That's what my coach had told me to do. Kind of, He gave me a range to kind of be at the first mile and I hit it, so I was pretty happy with that. Second mile was definitely a little bit harder, just being by myself a little bit. Um, and um, it was definitely a little bit challenging on the back part, but once you got over it, it was pretty good. And there was like parts where you can make up a little bit of time on the little bit of, of the com um, compacted dirt from the rain this morning. So the third mile, I was definitely just trying to maintain the pace and just get to the end and finish. So <laughs> honestly, I don't even know, I was kind of, I'm um, just feeling everyone's like energy from because they're all cheering for me. So that was really cool um, and definitely helped me to get through the line. Um, I was pretty confident knowing the training I had over the summer, but I was a little bit worried because I hadn't been feeling the best this week coming off a little bit of a sickness. So I definitely just try to get as much recovery as I could throughout the past few days, get a little bit extra sleep and then try to perform my best today. Um, it was definitely really exciting knowing um, that I had run a pretty fast time in a PR. So. Overall, I'm really happy with how the race played out and excited for the rest of the season.